Hello guys, welcome to my next video. As you guys know, we are learning routing in Angular. What are the main features, how we set up routing and also for the convenience of you guys, I have given you code uh, also. The, uh, there's a great opportunity to code along with me. So, so far we have set up routing. We have learned basic of routing, how we can pass parameters, how we can receive parameters, how we can pass fragments and all that stuff that was super cool and now we are going a bit deeper in this concept so the concept of this video is how we can set up nested routing there's one parent route and there's another nested route which could be the requirement in our programming uh, in our programming journey that it can happen we have to program nested route so this is important to understand what nested route is and how we can implement that actually so as always code is ready you can just go to my github handler download that code run npm install run ng serve and just uh, run this application now what is nested route how we need why we need nested route that is important to understand in this video i am going to show you i am going to tell you why this nested routing is important and why we need that so if you see my screen here we have servers there's a list of servers all the servers are registered here now when i click on some server if i click on some server on right side the related data of that server should be displayed so currently if you see if i click on something that takes me to another route and the previous list of uh, that uh, server data that is gone that is not available right now for to retrieve that i have to go back back i have to just click on servers tab again and then that data is then that list is showing up to me and now i click on another server dev server again same thing happens the description comes up but the data uh, the menu list of all the servers that goes away so this is a problem and to cater this problem to solve it uh, for the user's convenience if we display go, uh, data and the description of clicked server side by side we need nested routing and same thing guys uh, will be required for user also these are all the name of users which are listed here if i click on some username on right side of the panel the detail of that user should come up now if i click on max right now it takes me to another route as uh, it was doing uh, in servers too and uh, the previous list of all the users is gone uh, to set up that what we have to do there are a couple of simple steps uh, which we have to follow and this will be a really easy concept to understand it uh, if i click on app.module here we have registered all the routes as you guys know so uh, we have this server route and again we have two more routes related to server one is server and two other routes which are related to server to display dis different information so what i am going to do i am going to make the server as parent and the two routes which are related to server as nested route as a children route there is a powerful feature in angular which we where we can make children so now i am going to make children this will receive an array this children will receive an array so what i am going to do here is i am going to cut these two routes and i am going to put it within the children array of a server route now it has uh, become a something different it has been transformed into something different like we have server now the two other routes are uh, children routes which are uh, added i have added in children array so this is also there's one more thing important to understand for parent route the url will be slash server but for children route the data of children route will be appended this is very much important to understand like we have servers we will not repeat this server in the children route because the children route will be or will already have the url as slash server so guys this is um, i hope you guys understand this is important that in children routes we will not mention parents 
anymore so parent will be a predefined thing will be which will already be there and we will just add the data of uh, children routes we have added that so far so this is how we can set up nested routing but let's see if that works or we need something else too so when i go to that app and when i click on server i can open let me open that console log to just to make sure if we get some error or something just to capture that error when i click on that we are not getting any data on the right side of the panel so we have set up routing but we are not getting data there's a reason behind that the reason is very much important to understand so if i go on app.component.html here we have registered our router outlet so in app.component.html this router outlet will work as parent router outlet it will only uh, display the parent routes and the data of parent routes so how many parent routes we have right now in our application if we see an app.module we have uh, empty path this is also considered as parent route now we have users uh, we have user this is also a parent route because we did not append that in any children route or something and same thing will be for this route also so far we did not do append that in any children route so this is also part of uh, this is also something itself it is not linked to anything any other route or something but for servers we have one parent route and we have two children route of that server to display the data we have to start another router outlet hook basically uh, to display the children route data so where we do that basically we have to do that in this server dot component if i open my uh, files and uh, if i go to servers there's server dot component dot html in this html we will create another router outlet hook that will be only specific for the server's children this will not be for parents children that will be only specific for the server's children so i am going to comment out what we have here now i am going to add router outlet and uh, this will be the router outlet hook for the nested uh, for the children routes of the server so that's that's it i think we have to do now when we go to the application you see the data we need is next to the server's menu so if i click on production server so the data is changed and the production server data is visible now if i click on test server again the test server data is visible if i click on dev server the dev server data is visible next to each other so this is how we can set up nested routing and uh, uh, also uh, i have uh, taught you the concept of nested routing to what is that how we implement that now i have something for you to practice since we have set up nested routing for server same thing you can set up for user also there's a great opportunity to practice along with me also if I, if we click on username so the detail of this user should be next to user uh, list it should not take us to any other route or any other page so you, guys you can just pause the video and you can code that and try that yourself and uh, after that you can see my solution true so uh, I think you guys have coded and uh, it must be working. So let's see my solution how we can set up nested routing for this user. So here we are going to do same thing like what we did for servers. I am going to create a children route here. And in this children route, there will be an array. This array will receive an object this object will be a nested route of user so we have set up that now we have to make changes in html and remember guys we have to create router outlet for this nested route in user component so we will go to 
user component dot html and we will create a, a router outlet there in the user component here in app dot user i'll comment out that and uh, i am going to add another router outlet so we have added another router outlet this will be a nested router outlet hook for the nested route of users so if you if you go to screen and click on user tab if i click on max <coughs> this max data should appear if i click on uh, anna but this data is not showing up so there is something wrong in our code do you guys know what is wrong what we have done wrong here in the router setup we have done something wrong that's why this is not working so the mistake we have done in this video is we have added user and in child uh, route 2 we have added user again i told you that uh, for this parent route that will be appended automatically we do not have to register this parent route in user uh, url2 so what i am going to do i am going to remove this slash user simply and uh, this will be now a children route and without the uh, component or uh, without the name listed in the url of parent so now when we go to the app and click on uh, something like max this data is uh, visible now and when we click on anna and when we click on chris so this is how we can set up nested routing there was a uh, there's a very important concept to understand and to learn so if you guys watch my video and code along with me you will have opportunity to practice that and learn nested routing so guys stay tuned in my next video there's a lot more coming up related to angular and uh, also the javascript libraries and the different frameworks of uh, javascript there's a lot more coming up in my next videos stay tuned i will see you guys in my next video Thank you.